Greetings. Hello. This is Alikas Prime. Uh, welcome, Alikas Prime. I am the one that gave her the instrument of healing. Thank you. Perhaps it is a little strong for your dimension. Uh-huh. But did it work for you? Um, I feel better, yes. I felt pretty bad yesterday, last night, but not too bad. It was tolerable. What did you experience with the healing instrument? Oh, that was just a lot of heat. Just heat? That is all? Yeah, I was very hot. Like super hot. All over your body or in just special places? My head was hot and uh, all over the body and uh, I was perspiring. I see. I will have to adjust it so that it is not too overpowering. Oh, it, was, it was acceptable. I was just... Uh, no, it was acceptable. No problem. Very well. I just was... Uh, it was unusual that, you know, there was so, such a strong effect that we both felt. Usually it's more subtle. I see. I will speak to her again someday. Right now, I think that she must learn to use the instrument of healing in a more appropriate way, and I will come to her and help her. What's the, what's the name of the instrument? The fawn. Say again? Fawn. It's like telephone fawn? F, I guess you would spell it F-A-U-N, fawn. Okay. And what is it? The name of the instrument. And what is the instrument? What is... Um, it is, is a, it it's a healing fawn. It's an extension of your healing, but it, what it is is a healing amplifier. Uh-huh. It takes the energy of the person, which she is a strong healer, and amplifies it into the person, into the patient. Uh-huh with intention, helps greater healing. Uh-huh. Uh, what's the... Um, uh, what's the ball and what's the handle? What, what are the, these tools? The handle is just a handle to hold on to as uh -huh. you place the ball where it should go on the body. Uh -huh. As for usual, as your belief system goes, the more direct contact with the place that is hurting or needs help, the greater the healing. I see. The ball is the amplifier, the fawn. Okay. Uh, what dimensional? Uh, is it in the fourth dimension? Where is it located? It is located in the fourth dimension, but remember, we can move back into the third dimension at any time. Uh -huh. it, is it is difficult to move forward into future dimensions, but it is not so difficult to move backwards. Okay. So therefore, we've taken that technology, and although she cannot see it, she can use it because it is in... Uh, semi third dimension. I see. I see. Well, she is very high dimensional, so for her, it's, I think she saw it in the higher dimension. Of course. Um, what is your race? We are from the Pleiades. Uh huh. Some of us call are called Nords. Oh wow. Uh, do you have any relation to me? I have some relation to you. My species does, but I personally do not. Ah. What's my relation to the Norse? To the Norse? You are in there, our species, many centuries ago. I see. 
I, I really like, uh, yeah, I'm really, um, how do you say, um, I, I'm really uh, strongly attracted to Nordic looking people. Yes. Now, um, what's your specialty? My specialty is healing, and that is why I gave her the fawn. I saw uh, that she was indeed someone that was using healing in a very positive way, and I thought she could use some help because I saw her as being slightly frustrated that she could not do more with her healing. And correct. now she can. Exactly. That's what she said. She was tired and she asked for help. Yes. And now this is a help for her. Excellent. She um, is very giving and kind. We were very attracted to her spirit. Uh-huh. So uh, why, uh, why, why did, how did it happen? What was the uh, selection? How did the selection happen? Because she asked for help without knowing who will come, and then you came. How was the selection that you would come? We came because no one else could facilitate this healing process the way uh -huh. we could. We were actually the perfect ones to help her. So possibly you were nearby in some way. In which way you were nearby? We have seen her for many years. Uh -huh. We know who she is. But she has never asked for anything of this nature from anyone. Uh -huh. Just recently she has. And we were able to help her with this. Mm -hmm. And it was a gift. Because mm -hmm. we saw her positive intention. Uh-huh. Got it. Yeah, yeah, she is very positive. To discover the problem. Mm -hmm. And then we would be able to facilitate a healing of sorts. Uh -huh. That is up to people in your own dimension. I am not someone that is going to be healing the people of your dimension, but you must go to her, Jane, and use her as your healing tool. Uh-huh. Right. She will understand how to use the fall. Let her know that I have told you so. Okay. Thank you. You are. Um, thank you. Yes. Nice. Um, nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah, say hi to my people. Very well. Your past people are welcoming you home if you wish to go there at some time in the future. Excellent. Thank you. You have many homes, of course. This home would be one that you will remember. Remember that you felt you are very attracted to the Nordic looking people. There is no coincidence there. Mm -hmm. You were with the Nords for many centuries, but that was a long time ago. Uh -huh. You have not gone back to the Nordic people for a long while. Uh -huh. It is because your missions were sometimes interrupted because of this attraction that you felt. Oh, wow. I think that being in other situations has helped you to move forward. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I guess I would uh, invite Kufu maybe to speak if he is available. Kufu. Right. Yes, I am aware of him. Oh, just a second. Um, do you have your version of the creation myth? Can you uh, share it? The Nordic creation? Uh, both creation myth of the world and creation myth of the uh, people. The creation myths on our worlds are very different than the ones on yours. I do okay. not know 
your world creation story. It does not interest me. But uh -huh. our world creation story was very interesting. Okay. It was of a, it was many, many millions of years ago, of course, that the gods came together to create our planet and to create our worlds. And to show us that we were special in the, in the universe, they made us beautiful and made us strong. The first of our peoples were created by God Lenar. Lenar the God was the female portion of the God spirit. And she created man and woman. And the male portion, Teth, became the life in the male and also in some of the female because they must work together, but their minds are different. I am not sure if I am explaining properly. No, it's, it's good. It's perfect. So these two adjoining gods, for they are one god in many perceptions, the male and the female portion of one God. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. And so therefore, it was the female aspect that decided that the beauty of our beings should be great. And it was the male portion of our God that detected that we should be strong and muscular and be able to do many things, but also mentally astute. Uh, was there a sacrifice, self-sacrifice of, of God? There was none necessary. Mm -hmm. Our people, although they were, began to, to understand the under, the, the beauty that they had one with another became conceited and became arrogant. But God on both sides pushed them down to understand that they were not to see themselves in a greater light than they saw God. So it was a struggle for a while, but God did not have to come and sacrifice himself like he did on your world. Uh, was, was there a history of the fall? That would take a long time to describe, do you? But was it the fall of the civilization or the fall of the uh, Adam and Eve? Or was it Adam and Eve at all? No, there was no what you would call Adam and Eve in our story. But there was... I guess the realization that we were created by God. Our people always existed, it seems, but the understanding that of God became obvious to us at some point. And that is when they had intervened and changed the perspective and the physicality of our being. Wow. What was the star name? Galara. And the planet? Tenmur. Thank you. And was it located uh, in Orion? Pleiades. Oh, Pleiades. Uh huh. Thank you much. You are welcome. Uh, thank you for sharing, and uh, I have little time left, so I invite Kufu if he's available. Kufu, I will see if he is available. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh -huh. and you too. Many greetings. Many greetings.